welcome all of you. Namaste. I'm Dr. Amit Kumar Singh from IIT Jammu. Basically, I am from uh, Meta Antenna Lab, IIT Jammu, which is part of the Department of Electrical Engineering. IIT Jammu is one of uh, national importance institutes established by Government of India, which is uh, in particular for academics and research. Here in our lab, that is Meta Antenna Lab, we work particularly on uh, uh, cutting edge technology that is towards advancement of uh, society as well as the communication technology in particular. So in case of millimeter wave technologies, in Meta Antenna Lab, we work on those kind of antennas which can be the more emphasized for application point of view either it is 5G technology, 6G technology, or various satellite applications. The same kind of antennas we are developing here for defense applications such as for radars and uh, multiple uh, accessible communications as well. And we do the most of the design by using uh, software controlled materials, it means those materials which don't have the the naturally existing property, actually we nurture them in some different manners. So here just I am demonstrating uh, you know, some of our products. So here I have the first product which I want to show all of you. So this is in particular a uh, millimeter wave high gain reflector antenna. So this particular reflector antenna have one central feed uh, patch antenna and uh, that is a specialized distribution on the surface where on the particular distribution on the surface gives very high gain for this particular batch and uh, uh, specialized for this particular antenna the tested gain of this antenna is about 20 dpi so the replica of the same antenna to achieve beam steering what we can do is we can have second reflector design for the same feet and by using this particular feet now we can achieve the beam steering till plus minus 15 degree that means in the in the plus minus 15 degree direction we can have perfect control over the beam that too with a gain of about 20 degree. To further achieve more beam directions in different angles, that is still let's say plus minus 30 degree direction, here we have the third reflector which we have designed and by using this third reflector we can achieve a gain of about 20 dBi and again, again till plus minus 30 degree direction. So our uh, second antenna which we have designed here is one of very small miniature antenna that is basically a green lens antenna that is graded uh, reflective index into material based antenna. So this particular antenna is again having three beams at a time and that too can be controlled by switching applications. So at a time we can have three beams and uh, we can have switching control over the beams from plus 15 degree direction to zero degree direction to minus 15 degree direction. So this is one of the advancement of this particular antenna. Although it is small in size, but gain of this antenna is again pretty high, that is again 20 degree. So that is one of the finest application of this small antenna working at 28 gigahertz bands. Now coming to our similar kind of design, which we have worked forward for third one, that is uh, this particular design. So this particular one is uh, again designed for uh, uh, waveguide radiator, which is operating again at 28 gigahertz bands. So by having 28 gigahertz band, this is uh, uh, meta surface lens which we have designed. And by using this meta surface lens, we can achieve gain enhancement of about 10 to 15 dBi. And uh, if you can see in the back side, the setup consists of uh, the radiator itself, where the radiator is this uh, this uh, hot antenna 
uh, uh, the waveguide ant mine, particularly here, if you can see. And uh, here we have the metasurface lens placed at a particular height. So, if you can see, you can visualize this complete structure. And all of these complete structures, when uh, they will be tested in general, you will realize that how, in particular, these antennas are going to be useful. So this particular antenna also going to have a gain of about 20 dBi, very directional beam and very useful as far as the applications are concerned. So these are the major achievements which we have for our lab as of now. And all these types of antennas are tested in our Enable Chamber facility, where we have full-fledged facility available till 40 GHz application. I will be showing you with my team and I will be demonstrating its uh, measurement part and application part in our Enable Chamber facility as well. So now I welcome all of you for this Meta Antenna Labs Enacoid Chamber. And here we have this Enacoid Chamber with us. And this testing facility is self-sufficient to measure all the kinds of radiation characteristics till 40 gigahertz. And that is specialization of this particular Meta Antenna. Dr. Samir Wani, working as a project scientist here at Innovation Center, I2EBC, IIT Jomu. So since we know that uh, millimeter wave wireless links uh, are usually power limited and suffers with various issues such as huge propagation losses and other issues like signal blockage. So to address such issues, we have designed a antenna, prototype antenna, which can have uh, highly directional beams uh, within 15 dB of uh, uh, peak directivity and with beam steering capabilities. Like this, this is a prototype antenna. It consists of three antenna elements placed at the focal plane of this lens. This is a lens designed using graded refractor index technology and uh, realized using metamaterials and PCB technology. So this lens actually enhances the gain of each antenna element to about 20 dB. Uh, and with this, we can perform the beam steering uh, to 0 and plus minus 15 degrees. Hi, I am Ghazali Bashir, a PhD scholar at IIT Jumbo, working in the Meta Antenna Lab in Electrical Engineering Department. Uh, here we have designed an antenna array based on digital meta materials, uh, which, uh, which mitigates the various millimeter issues like uh, multipath fading, low SNR, uh, low spectrum efficiency and higher power consumption. The digital meta bits are distributed over the surface uh, to achieve a very high gain of uh, 20 dBi and the beams are scanned from uh, minus uh, 30 to plus 30 dB uh, directions. Hello, I am Sachitra Tiwari, PhD scholar at Department of Electrical Engineering, IIT Jammu, is here with my prototype that was designed at Meta Antenna Lab, IIT Jammu. So, there are various technological barriers that persist uh, in the millimeter wave range so, uh, to mitigate that losses and uh, get the highly directive beam in the broadside direction, uh, lens antenna are the promising solution. This prototype consists of a lens that was designed using a hyperbolic distribution and this is the waveguide feed that was kept at 54 mm of focal distance. The area of this lens is 78 cross 78 mm square. So, after feeding this lens with this waveguide, we get a highly directive beam in the broadside direction. So since just now I have demonstrated the kind of uh, products which our Meta Antenna Lab and the team members including our scholars and other teammates they have developed. Now it's time to say you people thank you but before leaving if any one of you want to contact us for your R&D related works or any of the contacts for any of the concern you can contact Meta Antenna Lab Department of Electrical Engineering and Teacher I thank all the participants for hearing. Thank you all of you.